Hi third graders, I'm going to show you how we can finish painting our globes today. So we're going to kind of simplify this, but what we're going to do is draw our continents on using your green paint and your brush. And again, your uh, globe should still be on that pencil. And we'll be drawing shapes for each continent. So what you'll want to do is remember, first of all, that this is going to feel upside down. This is Antarctica, and normally when we see a, a globe, it's like this. But for today, our Antarctica is going to be at the top. So we're going to be starting by painting South America very, very first. Find the middle of your globe. Do you see how mine even has a line in the middle? We call this the equator. South America goes right through the equator. So we're going to start by drawing a pretty small diamond. See my diamond? There's my green diamond. Now I'm going to, on the far, um, this would be my left side of the diamond, you're going to make that uh, diamond have a long triangle hat. Ooh, I just made an island. And if you make an accidental drop in the middle of your globe, that can be a small island. If it's too big, you can always use your blue paint. So I've got that. Now, South America is connected to North America. North America is kind of shaped like a speech bubble, but remember we're doing this upside down. So we're gonna find this um, side of our diamond, our, which is the opposite of that triangle hat, and you're gonna make a small swoop down and on the other side, and then we're gonna make our upside down big speech bubble with our oval. And this oval is essentially the United States. This is where if you want, you can add some details, like I'm gonna add Florida, I'm gonna add a Baja California right there. So this part of the speech bubble is Mexico. Up here we've got the United States. And I want to make our Canada visible. So over on the other side from Florida, I'm going to have a little box sticking out. That is Eastern Canada. And on the other side, we're going to have a, this is kind of an interesting shape, and it's getting really close to our fingers, which means it's very, very cold in Canada. I'm curling, making a flat line for our top and then coming back down to touch the speech bubble. And there's our Canada. So now I have South America and North America. If I'm looking at it like a globe, so far it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but that's not what we're trying to do. Now, if you need to pause so that you can make yours look like mine, go ahead. But I'm ready to move on. So I'm going to turn my globe so that I just barely can't quite see everything. And now I'm, my next big continent I'm gonna add is Africa. Africa has an oval head that, uh, since again, we're doing everything upside down, so it's gonna look like an oval bottom, uh, that is above the equator, just a little bit. So we're finding that equator. We're going down and we're gonna make an oval. Now it's very confusing because I keep talking above and below since we're working upside down. But there's my oval. The fun thing is the continents fit together like a puzzle piece. So this oval, if it slid, would fit right there in uh, essentially the Gulf of Mexico. Here's our oval. And now we want to add kind of like that triangle hat we put on South America, but it's going to be a lot rounder. Africa is a lot rounder. It's going to curl in to make kind of like a letter P. I want mine to be a bit more pointed on the end. A bit more, where's my, and I'm gonna give it a tiny little tail. That's the Cape of Africa right there. And then above Africa, we have Europe. So Europe is really weird shaped. So you're just gonna need to follow my lead. It's kind of gonna be shaped like a boat. So I have a little curve right above Africa and that curve is going to go around really far, really far. Let me show you the bottom of my earth so you can see how far that went. Okay, 
and then we're going to go back to where we started our curve come over here to our cape of africa make a swoop up broop. good a swoop over broop. good and then i'm gonna this is one moment. I was gone to get my beach ball of the world so that I could talk about things accurately. So this little swoop that's above Africa, this is Europe, okay? And the swoop that's next to it, right near that cape, which is Ethiopia, this guy is called Saudi Arabia, okay? So we're going back down for Iran and the Middle East and then we're going to make another swoop up this is india india is kind of triangle shaped and notice i'm still very far away from the other side if you're getting too close watch out and my india is a little low india should be above this middle line but that's okay and then i'm going to make another big bay a big u-shaped bay Ooh, before i make another spike and this spike is Thailand. So now we know we're almost done with your, with, um, H. Oh no! I dropped a coffee cup. Wasn't mine. <laughs> so we know we're almost done with Asia. So now at this point, I am going to connect, um, Thailand up, all the way up, 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 up. This is to Russia. And now we have one big island, one more continent to make. Let's count our continents. We should have seven. Well, kind of six. Okay, so here's North America. That's one. South America, that's two. Africa, that's three. Europe, that's four. Asia, that's five. Antarctica, that's six. So our last one, seven, is Australia. And Australia is going to be shaped like a cat face. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your last part of Asia and find that big empty space in between Asia and South America. See that big ocean? Antarctica, or not Antarctica, Australia is going to be our little cat-shaped head. It's trying to roll away from me again. Right in the middle. Okay. That's Australia. And you want to make sure that you have a little dot of an island above one of the ears. That's Tasmania. And we want, um, where is New Zealand? New Zealand is a little farther away, right there. Make sure you put in New Zealand. That's where Mrs. M is from. And now some other islands. If you want, I sure want to, add um, Indonesia by adding some islands right some of them can be big some of them can be small i just like to pat my brush right in there there's our indonesia i'm gonna put in a hawaii i think that would be fun hawaii's gonna be let's see right in here a couple of dots for hawaii boop, 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 boop. okay and now the Arctic Circle, it's not just a restaurant, it's a chain of islands right around the North Pole. So I'm using green, of course, because we don't have white paint. If you actually have some white bits like I do, you can just leave it as the Arctic Circle. And these are all your islands. I'm gonna go through them slowly because your next step is very easy. So you can see them one more time, starting at South America, North America, South America and North America, turning it slowly, Africa, with Europe right above, Asia, I'll show you Africa and Asia again, Africa, Asia, turn it a little bit more, Indonesia, Australia, Hawaii's right above Australia, there's North America and South America. Now, if you are all done, the last step is to fill in your islands. And that's it. And you don't need a video of me filling in the islands. 
But what I will do oops, is show you what it looks like when it's all done. So here's the one I was making today. And here's one I made a long time ago. Now this one has a lot more details to it. It looks more realistic than yours because we spent more time on it. We spent a full extra week just making our continents. But do you see how I filled in all the spaces to make my continents? There's my Antarctica on the bottom. We did that one in green. Yours will be upside down. Wah! Let's poke my hole back in so I can show you. So it'll look more like this. All the continents are filled in in green. That's what we're going to do next week. And I hope you had fun. Remember to pause whenever you need help making one of these continents.